Building a Community-Based Culture of Evaluation by Rich Jansen, Joanna Achoka, Leanne Turner, Tabitha Cook, Michelle Franklin, and Debbie Dykert. Community-based research is a research approach that involves active participation of stakeholders, those whose lives are affected by the issue being studied, in all phases of research for the purpose of producing useful studies to make positive change. Three hallmarks or guiding principles help to define community-based research. One, it is community-driven, which means the practical significance of the research to communities. Research is relevant when community members gain voice and choice through the research process. Two, it is participatory. Community members and researchers equitably share control of the research agenda through involvement in the research design, implementation, and dissemination. Three, community-based research is action-oriented. This means that the process and results of research should be useful to community members in making positive social change and in promoting social equity. Evaluation capacity building is typically understood to involve the building of knowledge, skills, and attitudes of organization members to engage in ongoing evaluation work. Evaluation capacity building is increasingly being applied to community-based organizations in recognition of the fact that many struggle to routinely conduct evaluation. Capacity challenges of community-based organizations can include limited staff expertise in the technical research aspects of evaluation, insufficient financial resources, excessive burden of evaluation on existing staff workloads, uncertainty as to how to measure divergent outcomes among diverse clients, and ill-defined program theory. In response, a growing number of initiatives have emerged in recent years designed to build a culture of evaluation within community-based organizations. One such initiative is the Evaluation Support Program. Launched in January 2015 by the Ontario Brain Institute, the program's aim was to build a culture of evaluative thinking within community-based organizations providing brain-related services while striving to produce continued evidence-based improvements of community services. This program used a number of different strategies for evaluation capacity building to include workshop training, mentoring and coaching, allocated meetings, and a community of practice. Four community-based projects were selected to join the program's initial cohort in 2015. Two of these projects were linked with the Centre for Community-Based Research, which provided support and mentorship as a designated evaluation specialist organization. The Southwest Alzheimer's Society Alliance found the program helpful in creating a community-based culture of evaluation, as well as gaining ongoing commitment to evaluation from its staff. Epilepsy Southwestern Ontario also had many positive outcomes from the program, including a realization that program evaluation at the community level need not be difficult or expensive if it is well planned out and includes the support of all stakeholders. The Evaluation Support Program provides a few key lessons about how to build an alternative community-based approach to evaluation. 1. Be community-driven. Be intentional in ensuring that those central to the program have leadership in shaping the evaluation purpose and process in an ongoing way. Two. Ensure equitable participation. Be intentional about grounding evaluation decision-making and engagement in the practical experiences of program stakeholders. And finally, promote action and change. Be intentional about using the opportunity of evaluation to facilitate reflective practice that leads to progressive program change. <laughs>